close your eyes and get in touch with your breath. Where do you feel the breath right now? If it's not very clear, take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths and focus your attention on where the sensation of breathing is strongest. And see if you can settle in. As the Buddha said, there is no happiness other than peace. This is what we're looking for inside. You look for a peace outside, and what are you going to find? People rioting, people arguing. As the Buddha said, even if it rained gold coins, it wouldn't be enough for one person's sensual desires. So imagine you know, billions of people on the planet all with their sensual desires, and it's certainly not raining gold coins. So there's going to be conflict. If you want peace, though, you have to look inside, because the source of the conflict also comes from within. We may be able to stop some outside conflicts and not some others, but we can learn how to stop the inside sources. And the first thing is to get the mind a place where it has a sense of satisfaction that's at least some of its desire for pleasure is being satisfied, a sense of well-being inside, and begin to realize that that's a lot more important and a lot more lasting than the pleasure that comes from sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations. It's an acquired taste in the beginning, but as you get to know it really well, you begin to realize this is something that the mind has really lacked, and begins to settle in with a sense of enjoyment. In the sense that this is where it really belongs. This is where it's really safe. Because once the inside causes are gone for conflict, then you begin to realize that what you've got inside is something that the outside conflicts can't touch. So let's try to stay right here, get to know this area really well, because important things are going to be found here. The problems are found here, but also the solution can be found here as well. If everybody looked inside and found some well-being inside, this would be a much different world, a much better world. You can't wait for everybody else to do it, but you can start yourself. And then you can be a good example to others, because otherwise everybody is thinking about, how can I get this, how can I get that, and who's going to get in my way? And when you're not getting in their way. And you're lifting yourself above those conflicts, you're a different kind of human being. Some people take notice, other people just want to push you out, but that doesn't matter. You've got something really good inside. So try to maintain it. Not only when you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but as you get up and move around, as you go through the world. Remember, you've got something valuable inside. And John Lee's images of having food in a container. And you want to make sure that it's well covered and that it's not going to spill, and that the flies don't come in and land on the food. You've got your internal source of well-being, your internal source of food right here. Protect it, and you'll find that it's more than enough.